They say money talks, but more often than not, those who have the least amount of money tend to talk the loudest. You see, those who are actively building wealth understand the value of their dollars, and they don't feel the need to shout it from the rooftops. Rich people don't feel the need to prove themselves or their wealth to others. A lot of poor people, however, are conditioned from a young age to flaunt their money. They're quick to spend it in search of peer acceptance, failing to realize a sign of true wealth is quiet confidence. Poor people are more worried about appearing rich rather than actually becoming rich, their low confidence typically stemming from a lack of money. Congolese author Mwanandenke Kindembo fittingly described the poverty mindset when he said, some people want to be gods while they're still struggling to be human beings. Welcome to Alux. Number 10. They won't stop bragging about money. Bragging about money is a classic sign of financial insecurity. That's why poor people who fake being rich will feel the need to boast about their perceived wealth and broadcast that to the masses. They overcompensate to cover up their poor self-esteem and are quick to sing their own praises while claiming superiority over others. You see, money isn't a big deal for those who have always had it. Rich people have learned that having money lends a certain level of comfortability, knowing that their wealth speaks louder than anything they might say out loud. They're confident with their cash and are well aware of the responsibilities that come with having a high financial status. Bragging about it is a trait counteractive to becoming wealthy. It's for those who would rather worry about what people think than actually redirecting their energy to making money. Bragging about their cash is a poor person's attempt to keep up with the Joneses. They boast about their success, all while being behind closed doors. They borrow money they don't have to, they buy things they can't afford to impress people they don't even know or like. You can always spot a poor person who has recently come into some cash by the way they talk about it. If you come from new money and can't help but boast and brag about it, it might be a sign that you haven't had it long enough. On the other hand, it's in the nature of those with old money to keep quiet about their cash. If they brag about how many zeros they've got on their bank account, it might indicate they still maintain a poor mindset even after finding financial success. American poet Chris Jami said it best, the biggest challenge after success is shutting up about it. The truth is, most people who brag about their wealth are actually poor. They may be rich in material possessions, but they lack true riches, such as love, friendship, health, happiness, and peace of mind. Number 9. They Overdress to Impress you might think that being rich means looking rich, but if our parents have taught us anything, it's that we know better than to judge a book by its cover. To most, wealth and riches will be synonymous with opulence and extravagance, but true wealth shines beyond more than just the surface. Take Bill Gates, for example, the Microsoft pioneer who is notoriously known for dressing like your average white-collar worker, despite having more money than 95% of the global population combined. While it's undeniable that wealthy people aren't afraid to indulge when it comes to adorning expensive clothes and jewelry, poor people dress to impress for different reasons. A rich person's dress sense will reflect their high level of confidence. A poor person faking being rich, however, tends to overdress as a way of combating low self-esteem, to make up for the material items they never had before, or to win approval from their wealthy peers. And who can blame them for following the rules of a world where material value is often pursued above all else? A percentage of people who've come from underprivileged beginnings will tend to be spontaneous with their cash because they haven't had it long enough to become educated about it. When you've always had cash, you become more comfortable with it. You understand its long-term value beyond more than just indulging and splurging on cosmetic and material items. Number 8. They spend too much time on social media. Social media sites are great tools when used properly, but if you spend all day posting selfies and watching cat videos, you'll end up pretty directionless fast. Rich people are too busy finding ways to invest their cash in the real world rather than wasting time endlessly scrolling social media. 
A quick poll from NASDAQ revealed that 17.4% of wealthy individuals rarely have time to use social media. It's underprivileged posers and wannabe influencers who typically seek external validation from social media. And this is because they don't have the resources or know-how to convert social success into real-world success. And while rich people aren't perfect beings free of insecurity, most of them are smart enough to know that following, liking, and commenting is a winning game for the unmotivated person. Unless it's a marketing tactic to make more money, rich people don't get rich from browsing social media all day and interacting with people they don't really know. Instead of inviting random strangers to peek into their lives, they keep their circle small, which will likely be made up of individuals who share similar levels of wealth. Number 7. They feel the need to buy fake items. Despite saying earlier on how most of us were taught not to judge a book by its cover, unfortunately in this material world, so many people only care to be judged by their cover. In an attempt to appear rich and wealthy, poor people will often buy fake designer items as a way to inflate their sense of self-worth. Lately, there's a common trend amongst rich folks to downplay their financial wealth by downdressing and appearing poor. Take Kanye West's 2022 Yeezy Gap Collection, which despite being bought out by mostly wealthy kids, the Chicago rapper says designs were directly inspired by the homeless. Poor people, however, seem to do the opposite. They buy fake clothes and jewelry because they care more about what other people think rather than living within their means. They prioritize status and validation from others, usually because their feelings of inadequacy stop them from living authentically. Instead of making long-term sacrifices and saving up cash to buy high-end goods, the pull of instant satisfaction keeps them buying poor quality items. In the words of American author Sterling W. Sill, some people lose their souls in order to save their faces. Poor people who feel the need to fake being rich are playing a losing game. Investing in a few high-quality items rather than countless fakes might mean that you can't keep up with the latest trends, but it will mean your integrity stays intact. Remember, quality over quantity. Number 6. They Overcompensate a sure sign to tell if a poor person is faking being rich is if they overcompensate for everything. Whether it's bragging about their supposed success, placing their achievements above others, or downplaying the achievements of other friends and peers, people who overcompensate usually do so because they're struggling with feelings of inadequacy. People who grew up poor and haven't escaped the poverty mindset may have an inferiority complex, and this leads them to overcompensate in an attempt to hide their shortcomings. They'll splurge and buy expensive bottles at the bar trying to impress their rich friends, knowing full well they haven't even paid off last month's credit card bill and might not be able to afford it. They'll idolize luxury items and judge others for what they're wearing and the material items they don't own because it's a way of distancing themselves from a life of poverty. Those who can't seem to stop talking about their supposed success and endless wealth might just be overcompensating and probably can't put their money where their mouth is. However, overcompensating isn't exclusive to the underprivileged. There are plenty of rich people guilty of overcompensating because at the end of the day, money cannot eliminate our insecurities. Number 5. They Splurge Impulsively you might be able to tell when a poor person is faking being rich by the way they impulsively spend when they come into some cash. Running up and down Fifth Avenue on a mindless shopping spree after getting paid is an activity that most couldn't resist, whether rich or poor, we're only human. Those who live and breathe money aren't strangers to the occasional shopping spree, but when money is no object, you'll find that impulsive splurging just isn't something you do anymore. For poor people who aren't used to cash passing through their hands, however, it'll be a little more difficult to resist the temptation of spending unnecessarily, perhaps in an attempt to appear extravagant. It could be that they're searching for something, anything to make themselves happy, a special feeling they've always craved. 
When underprivileged people aren't used to money, they'll often spend it as soon as they get it. To quote Mother Teresa, loneliness and the feeling of being unwanted is the most terrible poverty. Number 4. They rent but don't own anything. Ever had that friend who seems to pull up in a new vehicle every other week, or who's always jumping from one flashy apartment to another? It might be a sign that their financial situation can't afford them anything permanent. A sure sign of a poor person faking being rich is their inability to put down roots and actually commit to a purchase. They've got no issue renting expensive cars to get a one-over on their friends. They'll appear in opulent clothes and jewelry, but go home to a half-empty closet because, truth be told, they never really owned anything. There are plenty of reasons why someone would prefer to rent over buying, but there's little reason why someone who claims to be rolling in cash can't seem to get their money to talk. Those who claim to be rich but don't seem to have any actual assets are probably not as rich as they claim to be and are likely renting their expensive lifestyle. Number 3. They love flaunting on social media Remember how we said rich people rather stay off social media and keep their friendship circle small? Well, it should be no surprise then that poor people posing above their tax bracket are the first to jump on social media and flaunt their supposed wealth. They may post pictures of themselves dressed in designer items at bougie brunches or posing on sports cars that are not theirs, when in actuality these are only snapshots of a fabricated fantasy that couldn't be further from the truth. Whether rich or poor, those who are confident don't feel the need to shamelessly self-promote with lavish posts on the gram. Poor people who so badly want to appear rich may not be confident enough to sit in their truth. And this is likely because they're not satisfied with life in the real world and would prefer to portray a fantasy-like world of luxury online, when in fact, it's a pitiful attempt at hiding what they lack. Number 2. They prefer quantity over quality With a certain level of wealth naturally comes a certain level of taste. And while taste isn't exclusive to the rich, those who are truly wealthy are just that much more accustomed to the taste of high quality. And when they shop, rich people will opt for quality over quantity. They understand the value of investing in high-grade items that will last for years, and they'll spend money on unique bespoke products that increase in value over time. Poor people posing as rich will not be able to shake this habit of buying for utility. Instead of laying down the cash to invest in fewer high-quality items that will last, they end up spending more money in the long run buying generic, cheap items that constantly need to be replaced. Recognizing the value in quality is a skill that rich people do well. The rich are surrounded by the finest things 24-7. They recognize it when they see it and are quick to place value over volume. Those who are faking it won't be able to shake the bad habit of skimping out and buying for convenience, and that ultimately comes at a higher price tag. As Steve Jobs once said, be a yardstick of quality. Some people aren't used to an environment where excellence is expected. Number 1. They aren't open to education and growth. Poor people who are faking being rich are too busy trying to portray a life of materialism that they forget that real value lies in education and the pursuit of knowledge. Education is a pillar of knowledge, and the rich, more than anyone, know that chasing knowledge is how you get richer. Most of the world's billionaires earn their coveted status by educating themselves and by becoming experts and innovators in their respective fields. A disciplined mindset and a desire to grow is usually what separates those who continue to blame their shortcomings on the world around them and those who break out of poverty and sail from rags to riches. The poverty mindset is taught, it's inherited. Those who've always known poverty often don't have the education to grow and escape it, and a lot are more than happy to remain complacent, unaware that they don't have to start big, they just have to start now. 
Of course, education is highly valued by countless people around the world, rich or poor. But you'll always tell when a poor person is faking being rich by how they place the value of money above knowledge. True wealthy people will consider their material assets as not as important as their ability to learn and evolve. Rich people are unafraid of pushing themselves and expanding their reach. Hey, it's how they got rich in the first place. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time with us today, Alex. We're so glad you did. If you enjoyed this one, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey, don't forget to subscribe.